you set up the shot, you're confident in your brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra, it's gonna do the job, and you take the photo, and it looks like it was taken with a potato. I can certainly relate to that. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the little secrets that I discovered so far, some within the software itself, or One UI 6, and others that I discovered with accessories. In recent videos about the S24 Ultra, many of you asked about you know, the accessories that I've been showing. The first accessory here is something that I recommend for people who really want to improve their videos and pictures. You know what they say, right? Sometimes it's better to fix it in pre rather than in post. One of the most expensive lenses in cinematography is the anamorphic lens. So being able to achieve that similar effect with your smartphone is amazing to me. The main characteristics of an anamorphic lens is that they give you a much wider shot. And when you point it at bright sources of light, you can create these insane light streaks, you know, really, really unique. Another telltale of the anamorphic is the oval shaped bokeh. So in a movie, when you look behind a subject, you see the lights and if they're oval shaped, you will know that they used an anamorphic lens for that scene. Here you can see side by side the difference in bokeh between the spherical and anamorphic lens. These are great modifiers designed to give you that look on your smartphone and I think they do an amazing job. And Samsung, and this is why I love Samsung by the way, you can actually come in here inside the settings using Goodlock's camera assistant and add an option to automatically de-squeeze the footage. The other modification that you might wanna consider and perhaps a more common use is adding an ND filter. It's one, one of these things here. ND filters are basically sunglasses for your lenses. There are many ways in which to use an ND filter, but the main ones are long exposure shots, like for dreamy water movement. Another use is to keep a nice and blurry background without compromising on exposure. What I like about this free well option is that it covers all lenses. You know, this one filter and is magnetic as well. This is a game changer for me. And if I need a different ND strength, again, you know, just remove it, get another one and just attach it magnetically, you know, and it stays safe in place here, no problem. You are gonna need this case. You know, sometimes you don't wanna be swapping cases. Well, Sunmark, they make these ND filters as well. Where are they? This one's here. This is actually for the iPhone, you know, I'm not gonna, recommend you buy this for the S24 Ultra. But what I will say is that they work with the S23 and the S24 Ultra as well. You just have to place them on the right lens. Now, don't quote me on this. They are for the iPhone and they actually do have a, a case for the iPhone as well that there are different attachments to. But I do enjoy these because they are quite small and after you've taken your shot, right, you can put these away and your phone is back to a normal phone. And you can use this over your favorite case. I mean, most cases that I've tried, I've tried four or five different cases, they work fine with this. The other cool thing about this one is that you have a variable option as well, rather than changing filters manually, a lot more convenient depending on what you're going for. Sunmark is one of those brands that you never know, and then when you go in there, it's just, they've got a whole bunch of different accessories on the website, all of which are fantastic quality. They have a, like a, a big phone rig that I've got as well. If you really wanna take things you know, a bit more seriously later on, you can go for that sort of stuff and you can put lights, microphones, you know, the best news for you really, depending on, on what you wanna buy from them, there's a 10% discount on their entire website, you know, using the link down below. The other thing that you may remember from my Ford accessories video is proper USB-C cables. You might be thinking, cables, really? Yeah, these are not just any cables though, these are gorgeous and very functional too. We all know that Apple just invented USB-C, right, in 2023. So it's nice to see that the rest of the world is catching up with USB-C. On a serious note, with Samsung, you get some really boring cables, like right? this black USB-C cable. It does the job, but it doesn't reach very far. And although it's fairly durable, it doesn't look it, right? It feels like it's gonna snap at any point. Depending on your personal taste and your setup as well, right? You might have a really fancy setup. You might wanna use something that is a little bit you know, better looking and also more functional. You know, you might have this on display at home or at work as well. And these cables from Chubby Cable are amazing. Yeah, you heard that right, it's Chubby Cable. <laughs> I love the name. Awesome quality though. Obviously they look great, but for me is the material quality and the fact that it supports fast charging and fast data transfer as well. I mean, look at them. They feel extremely premium and even come with these really nice pouches as well. And these really lovely cable ties as well. So things, will look nice and tidy on your setup. But aesthetics is not everything with these cables, you know? These are able to support 100 watt charge and fast data transfer as well. There's a ton of options. And as you can see here, you know, they will work with chargers, with laptops, in your car, you name it. For me, it's just nice to keep some of these in my tech bag. And because of these nice and bright colors, they are harder to leave behind as well. I'm always losing cables. And whether you choose the braided options or the softer silicone material, or even this more intricate design here, 
All of these options feel really nice. And what I noticed too is that they stay clean, which is a nice bonus. They've got some of these curly ones as well, which is quite compact, but when you stretch it, you know, it can go quite far as well. There's loads more options on the website, really fun stuff. If you wanna check them out, I've put a link in the description as well for you, but feel free to pause the video here if you're watching from a TV and scan the QR code here. Make sure to use the coupon code Alex for 10% off your purchase. And thanks Chubby Cable for making this video possible. Sponsors like this is what enables me to keep making these videos for you, so I really appreciate that. Which reminds me, I should put a disclaimer here, right? Let me level with you because I just gotta keep it real, as they say, right? Sure, this video is a, a bit of an opportunity for me to share with you a few things that I like, but is also, you know, generating some revenue for the channel. I try to balance sponsored and non-sponsored content here on the channel, because, you know, I gotta pay for the rent, pay for the equipment, and I just hope you understand that I'm not lucky enough to you know, get Samsung or Apple to send me these expensive devices. One day, maybe, right? But the good news is I'm truly passionate about all the tech that I review here. I try them thoroughly. I go out and I use this stuff. And when they make it into a video is because I honestly trust it and I've, I've used it myself. Right, on with the video, right? One thing that you might need, regardless of any ND filters or lens modifications, is a mini tripod or a gimbal to give you that extra support when you're out and about. If all you need is a selfie stick, there are of course much cheaper options, but some of the stuff here I've been using for two, three years and they're still going strong. This is a very simple like Manfrotto clamp that I can attach to any phone and it works on both orientations. This little thing, like I use it almost every day. Then moving up a level, right? There are three options that are my favorites here. We have the Freewell selfie stick. This is a Bluetooth stick. There's a little button here that operates the shutter on the phone so you don't have to touch the phone, which is really good for stability. You can tilt it, you can twist it, you can mount it to things, you can make it smaller again and kind of just use it as a grip. You know, that's if you're just holding the phone, this is a good enough grip. My second option here is quite an unusual one, but I love it. This is the Obspot Me, a much simpler solution that doesn't require any software to track you around. There is it, here. The battery will last two hours and there's a camera in here. So you put your phone in here, this camera on the Obspot will, will track you around, you know, will recognize a human and it's got gestures. So you can tell it to stop, continue, brilliant. And the third option in this category is the Insta360, which you may remember from my Fold 5 video. This is not really for the Fold, but I've been using it with it. It's great, right? Awesome gimbal, really sturdy as well, packed with features in software. So you gotta download an app and install it. I love that within the app, it's got this guided tour. So you tell the software what you're doing. So it could be like a city escape or a visit to a zoo or whatever. And it will tell you what sort of shots you should be getting. You know, it will give you some ideas because there's nothing worse in my opinion to go somewhere and go, right, what do I do now, you know? And you just end up doing what I do normally when I run out of ideas, which is like pan left to right, up and down, no creativity, right? There are some cases here which I'll share with you, not just what I like about them, but also the bits that I don't like and I think it should improve. The first one here is the D brand. What I like about D brand cases is the grip and how light they are. The next one here is Pitaka. What I like about them is the looks the best looking cases. What I don't like, and this is, you know, kind of a preference thing, is the level of protection. Right? You drop your phone with this case, there's not much that's gonna do to protect against a drop. But against scratch protection, this is perfect. Next one here is mouse. Mouse and I go a long way back. You know, what I love about them is protection, the style, the magnets, really strong magnets, which don't impact the S Pen as far as I can tell. The inner lining protection, so the back of the phone, Fortunately for me, I didn't do that, but the back of the phone will be really nice and protected. What I don't like about the mouse cases uh, is the grip. They have improved it. They've added this, this grip on the, on the sides here, but I'd still say this could be better if they have a rubberized feel like the D brand that I showed here. That would be amazing. And that would make this case perfect. The next one is Casetify. This new impact ring stand here, this thing is no joke, absolutely genius idea. I think every case should have some sort of ring stand option, even if it doesn't come with it. It's just nice to have it. And, and the way they did it with the, with the camera module here without losing their aesthetics is great. What I don't like is that they scratch really quickly. It's one of those things with clear cases of any brands. Now, whether you go with or without a case, you might wanna have a skin as well. These are beautiful, I mean, I love this leather ones from D-Brand. And I know I already mentioned D-Brand cases, but really where they stand out is with skin. Fantastic designs, not just for phones, they have like laptop stuff as well, just awesome quality. Did you notice how I put Caseify and D-Brand together? I want them to be friends, you know, stuff happens in business sometimes. Let's hope we can sort it out and move on. Oh, by the way, just a quick reminder, you know, if you have a friend that likes tech gadgets or that WhatsApp group that may like this video, 
please hit that share button. It really is what makes me get discovered out there. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video, of course. We're getting so close to 100K now. I'm super excited for that. And it would be awesome, you know, to do that together with you. Now, we know the iPhone can now use USB-C and we can record videos straight into an external storage because of that, which is awesome. And whilst we can't do that on Samsung, you might still wanna back up some of your larger videos externally, right? Because they are quite heavy, especially if you're doing like 8K videos, you don't wanna keep that on your phone. I do use quite a few different ones for video editing specifically. My favorite ones right now are the X10 Pro from Crucial and the X9. The X10 is probably overkill for the, for the Samsung or even for the iPhone very fast. I mean, I can use this literally to edit this video, but the X9 Pro for me is the best of the bunch because, you know, it's portable. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's fast and it doesn't break the banks. You know, it's kind of the, the trinity of SSDs. It ticks all the boxes for me. I used to recommend SanDisk stuff, but recently they, you know, they've had some issues and lots of people are still reporting bugs. So I'd be cautious with those ones. Whereas these ones, you know, I've been using them for a couple of years now no issues at all. Something that I always forget to mention in this video is my car mount. There are so many options out there, right? My current favorite one for the S24 Ultra is actually a Satechi one. They do all sorts of different accessories, but their car mount is great. You know, it's white, so, you know, it goes with many different cars, but it's got a nice kind of soft touch to it. It doesn't leave any marks at the back. Very strong magnet. Like I said, looks pretty decent too. I'm always on the lookout for good car mounts though because I do use them for the Fold for the S24 Ultra. So let me know if you found one that you love and I'll try to find one here. Now the S24 Ultra is like any Android phones out there, right? It has incredible charging speeds. Probably not the best out of the Androids, but pretty good, right? And better than the iPhone. So I love using my Ugreen charger when I, you know, I run a properly charge them very quickly. It's a 300 watt charger and the S24 Ultra will just eat that for breakfast, right? No problem at all. For the road, I have these two little options here, which are fantastic, very light, but can give you at least one full charge. You know, this one here is a 5,000 milliamp battery and this other one here has got 10,000 milliamp battery. Lots more to come here on the channel and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, we're getting so close to 100K. I won't mention it again, I'll leave it there. I got links to all these products in the description, by the way, but I do know that a lot of you watch my videos on my TV. So I hope you appreciate the fact that you can pause the video and scan the QR code as well. Some of these videos here are basically movies that I made now and people are really enjoying these. But if you watch those and while you wait for the next video, I think you're gonna like this video over here as well. I hope to see you there.